Yeah, see, that was a fun mission. Why can't I pick that up? That was a fun mission. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. This looks like the range cowboys or something. Oh, that's right. I'm mean, the secondary objective is to pick up the cash. Ow, 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 ow. Oi. This game is crazy. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, those things hurt a lot. Oh, yeah. Problem. Oh, well, those home on you too. That's what I just. I need really needed that, didn't I? <sighs> Dang, I'm almost dead already. Um, thirteen left. Ah. Oh. Let's see. Problem is you, you can't heal yourself. And these levels are just overly complex sometimes. Let's see. Pick up any loot. Okay. Uh, can I just drop a nuke on these people? Because I don't care about points right now. Yeah. Uh. Oh, God. Ah. Okay, and the game had a bit of a freezing issue when I failed that time. So, I figured that we should just do another campaign, since there isn't... Well, there is a bit of a storyline with each of these. The problem is, a lot of the missions are generally the same in the same area. So, for variety's sake, I'll do this. I think this one's more of the escort-type missions. So, let's get it out of the way. <laughs> Scan the first floor. Okay, that's another objective that they tend to have you do, where you just walk around and uncover the map. Unbot. Hey, so I guess they do have music. It's just, it doesn't work. So if anyone can ever get the game's music for this working, let me know, and uh, I'll try and have that music in there instead. But in the meantime, I'll just have to use what I can make do with. Something that's fitting and... Um, not upsetting. <laughs> Alright, so let's keep exploring, running into people. Ah, keys. Hmm. Bookshelf. I think I almost got everything. Okay, good. Now we can just leave. Ah, whoops. See, you got in my way. Is this game going to be obsessed about toilets, too? Eh, never mind. Okay, butcher penalty. Whoops! Well, at least I got a good time bonus. Alright, now we have to collect stuffs. Let's do that. I'll see if I can load that mod file into Windows later and play it on one of the various media players I have. Considering the date, it should work. Since mod files are compatible with something, you know. Oh, is that a bad guy? I guess it is. Okay. Um, I think this is. These are just uh, regular bad guys who hold those scientists hostage. More toilets. That's nice. Uh, let's see. So you actually lose points if you damage any innocent person, but not kill them. So it's based on damage dealt. Damage dealt. Whoops. Um, I think I have to find those little log books. Log CDs. Let's see. Hmm, there's one. Two. Bad guy. Toilet. And these safes, which... Okay, they do have more health than the other furnitures. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, let's go this way. So, gotta check the rest of the rooms, and they're probably all in there. Like, we have to finish exploring the whole level for that. Ooh, bad guy. Come here. Ah, he disappeared.
Hmm. Ah, oh, there's some. Uh. Oops. Uh, there's one more over there. Got it. Yep. Okay. Err. See my teeth grinning. G uh, grinning. Okay. Now we gotta rescue people. Great. Let's try the sniper gun. I'll use it on the first bad guy I see. Oh. Okay, I think the sound file for this couldn't load properly. Like, it didn't get decompressed. But, at least it didn't crash the game when you fire it. I like the pushback on it, though. It's like, sends them across this whole screen. Hmm. So, at this point, we just have to find her and then rescue... Uh, I was going to say lure. Escort her to the exit point. Oops. Get stop that. And this campaign should allow you to use explosives later on, I hope. That's really what I find the most fun about this whole game. Of course the random level generation is pretty fun too. But you also have to be interested in the content in the first place. I'm trying to think of a good example. Like if there's a certain game you're not interested in, uh, okay. A sports game, if you're not into sports games, nothing's really going to interest you. <laughs> Probably, unless it's like some fake sports game and they combine all the, you know, the most exciting elements from each game. Hey, there she is. Come here. Uh, wow, this is, you know, this is not an office. It's a maze. Seriously. Ow, 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 ow. Wow. <sighs> okay, be right back, folks. All right, and we're back. Now, uh, let's get the scientist out of here. And I nearly killed her when I jumped, ran into her with my knife. Sorry. <laughs> Where is you? I think they try and follow you, but okay, there she is. Um, yeah, I just ran through the level with my knife this time. I figure it's a little bit safer <laughs> running with knives. Who knew? All right, next mission. Uh, scientist. Key. Hey, she's a girl. Yeah, I'm okay. Sees monsters in the basement. Okay, now actually it gets more interesting. It's not just a random terrorist group. It's monsters. Um, forgot to mention. Um, I like running around with a knife here since you can charge into them at full throttle and just do a ton of damage to them at once. And they, the enemy, uh, the enemy NPCs don't have any sort of um, charge move at all. Get. All right, search the basement. Basement looks just like the same place above to me. Hmm. So it's another scanning mission, as I like to call them, where you just roam around and uncover the spots. And I think this place has no NPCs, which is sensible. Ow! 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 Okay, that hurts a lot. Whoa! Okay, that's not even an objective, so I'm not gonna bother shooting those little Molotov things. <sighs> hmm, let's see. Oh! <laughs> Sent him flying. Let's see. Uh, at least this mission is red. Hmm. Ah! <sighs> I was gonna say, at least this mission is rather simple, but that kinda happens too. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna use the knife again. This is too dangerous otherwise. Since they have knives too, and that is usually what kills me. Ah, hey! Okay. And again, you don't lose any score for just running into random things. Oh, also, you can't blow up dangerous objects with it since it's melee. That's pretty good. So all in all, this game isn't too bad, but I do kind of wish it had a little bit more variety. 
but it's good for the average. Um, well, not dungeon crawler, just roguelike, eh, maybe. Now, I can't guarantee how far I'll play into this, into these various campaigns, since they tend to be lengthy and a bit repetitive. But mm, maybe that's what you want. But oh, hey, there's a key. Blue key. I don't think I'll have to need it. Okay, I do need it. This actually has a very high exploration requirement, so you have to go almost every single square. Uh, these, and these these canisters don't help. Okay, the game appears to be acting up a little bit now. That's right, this is the problem I ran into before when I tried to use any recorder with it. I, I don't know why. Any recorder, I mean any sort of recorder. That's not a name. <laughs> oh well, it's just a sound. There's not much to hear anyway. Hmm, yeah, alright, I think I have to explore every single crevice. That's nice. At least they gave you the dash button t to mess with. Uh, I gotta go around there. Let's see, in the top right also I have to explore a bit too. Hmm, he tried to stab me in the back there. Alright, I'll take care of this place first and then go down there. See, all right. Yeah, I have to explore every single portion here now. That's kind of unfortunate. <clears throat> now, one more bit here. Come on, finish. Ow, ow, ow. Ah, I gotta go over there. Hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, this game forces this level forces you to explore every single square. I honestly thought that was a slight exaggeration, but it's not. <laughs> oh, okay, let's get out of here. All right. Don't move. Okay. All right. So it's a percentage ish. Get the plasma wave modulator. Okay. I'll get the little thing about Bob you have. Now I recall you can also change the dimensions of the level layout, like make it wider than it is tall, or height, whatever. Since this is typically just a square. Big giant square. In a warehouse. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Alright. There's the exit. Let's go. Got on my exit. There we go. Okay. Nice. Good time bonus. Get the... Oh. Psh. Really? That thing looked fancy enough. Apparently it's a circuit board I have to get. Anyone want to bet that this mission takes about five times as long? Oh, what's that? I think I saw something... Oh, I see. Strange ninja monsters. Uh, Bug-eyed ninjas? I don't know. Referring to the aliens in the previous one, I think it uses the same model. Alright, I just gotta look for the keys. Let's see, there's also a two-player mode for this, where you can run around in split-screen and... Oh, there we go. And complete objectives and try and not get too frustrated at your partner for the friendly fire. It's, yes, this game has it too. Let's see, there's also a battle mode you can use to just blow each other up. That's pretty fun. So it's a bit expanded in that sense. Um, come here. There it is. Okay. 
So I guess these guys just will uh, futuristic knives or something. It's nice they don't use guns though. Finally. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't in it. Now I am. Oh, came up behind me. 